Hi, there's a few notes with uh, the split cath when you're trying to get it through a peel away sheath. Uh, it's very important that if you're using the peel away and you're not doing an exchange that the first thing you want to do is get rid of the stiffening stylet that is only for exchanges. And then you can see you have your tip here, flush and lock both lumens. And then you're going to split the catheter to the desired split length. This one is, this is how it comes out of the box. You have a line on there as to not split past that point. We'll say you're going to split it about a third of the way. So you go ahead and pull that about a third of the way to the black mark. You have your peel away, valve peel away sheath here. I'm sure everybody's very familiar with how to put these together. You want to make sure you put this through, make sure it's locked flush it when you insert it into the patient into the ij or femoral wherever you're going you want to make sure that the peel away is inserted over a wire under fluoroscopic guidance and as far in as you can get it preferably hubbed so that way your catheter is covered most of the way through the vessels into the uh, svc so that way it doesn't get caught any of either of the uh, lumens doesn't get hung up on uh, anon anonymous or uh, a branch somewhere or a ledge so if you put the peel away all the way down most of the time the tip of that peel away is going to get you almost to the right atrium if not the right atrium uh, on the right side if you're on the left side it'll get you pretty close depending on the size of the patient but at least these catheter lumens are covered all the way down so they don't get you know if you're feeding it in it gets out of the peel away this uh, could catch the other catch the uh, anominate and this one could go another direction so what you want to do is make sure the peel away is all the way in and another uh, quick tip when you take these and you're going to feed them into the peel away there's a valve in this peel away and you want to make sure that you take the catheter pinch it together with your fingers make sure that it does not crisscross like that that'll cause a problem make sure it's not turned on itself reversed that will cause a problem it needs to be smooth just like when it came out of the package you just hold the halves together pinch it at the top feed it into the peel away make sure it goes into the peel away without crisscrossing or getting tangled up and then after that it's smooth sound as long as you have your peel away in as far as you can get it the catheter is going to be covered till it perches through the uh, end of the peel away into the right atrium and it's going to come out and split and then you can peel the peel away away and no problems again you just want to make sure they're not crisscrossed or flipped on you don't want them like that you don't want them flipped over you don't want them like this when you put it through you want to just line them up nice and smooth Hold them together where they where the two tips are start it feeding in and then you got smooth sailing make sure you're not using the stiffening stylet through the sheath that usually helps uh i mean you know if you have the peel if you have that stiffener in it can cause more trouble than good when you're doing a fresh placement it's great for exchanges and then you also want to make sure that your sheath is in as far as it can be and make sure it's not kinked if you kink the sheath, you're going to have trouble getting the peel, getting the uh, catheter through it. So you want to make sure you're not kinking the sheath during any of the process of insertion. If you kink it, you got you're going to have issues. Don't peel it away before you start feeding the catheter in. Just feed the sheath all the way in until it's hubbed. Catheter together, nice and smooth, not flipped or tangled in any way. Feed it through, and you're good to go.